so I'm obviously, if you don't know, I'm Raven Laughs, aka Dan from Wingspans Radio. Yeah. Uh, I left you a video response, and you came to stick him that one time, and then it was like, we were like, and then I never talked to you again. So I know I that, to... and there's a reason why we went head to head, because yeah. the first thing you said to me, rather than hello, was, hey, I posted a video response. To you. To me. Yeah, yeah. That's why I, I responded with, hey, I sent you an email, and you didn't reply. Yeah, I know. Dude, it's so much is happening all the time. Oh, I know, you're a busy guy. Yeah, but I found your video incredibly inspiring and that I did respond to about yes, making something happen right now. Absolutely. And I've been drawn to it. That's a scary thing. Usually when people are drawn to me, it's because there's a warrant. So anyway. Warrant for peace. Yes. Uh, did you hear this? Peace. That's right. Me with the sunglasses and the trench coat. It's, I, I'm actually an, an anachronistic representation of peace. You go back into history, men who have had long black coats, i.e. priests, have caused peace throughout history, right? Anyway, so, uh, Ian, I have some questions that my uh, listening audience from the Wingspans Radio have asked. Now, the problem with this is, I've got six questions, five of which were general, one of them was specifically for Renato. You're welcome to answer them if you want to, you don't have to, it's up to you. Some people actually get a little aggressive. The sad thing was, when I presented the idea of having access to the different popular users on YouTube, I felt this was an opportunity to talk to people, or give people a chance to talk to the, uh, the uh, more popular users to find out, hey, how do you make your videos? How do you come up with your ideas? What is it about YouTube that makes you create the videos that you do to get the responses that you do? But nobody cared. Everyone's like, ah, oh, they're all a bunch of celebrity you wannabes. They're all too big-headed. I don't want to talk to any of them. So I've got about five questions. Hey, thanks, man. Hey. Oh, for, I've seen this guy. Um, so the questions that I have are kind of general. And as I said, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Make sure that you're on camera. I'll answer. Okay. So the first question that I have for you that they ask they ask me is, what the hell are you doing here? Why did you leave your house to come to the YouTube gathering in San Francisco? Because I, I, I because I believe that internet video is like training to for communication for real life because it takes the fear out of it. So we can train by opening up to each other without afraid of getting hit or any kind of aggression. And so so I've been doing that, but it's like there's almost a disconnect in my mind where it's like, okay, I know it's easy to talk to people on video, but I, I'm not positive that I can that, that gap can be bridged because I haven't done it yet. Right. Only one guy have I met, Jay. He's a noomsie on, on YouTube, and he lives in West Hollywood. He had me over for Thanksgiving. That was pretty cool. Very cool. But this is like, I believe that we can use the technology as literally we can communicate with our political figures, with other countries' political figures, and then there's no fear. Then you come and you... And you no awkwardness. Okay. And that's and so you're networking with other YouTubers because of the community? Yeah, because we're all doing it right. together. It's like we all we are the ones that in this moment understand what is happening. Okay. So this next question, like I said, some of these are kind of aggressive. Who paid for you to be here? Me, we're gonna split gas money. Just drove off from, so uh, from LA. Dave. Are, hey Dave, what's up, man? This is a man. Hello. These are people that actually came with me and Crossland. He paid out of his own pocket. Yeah, they're on YouTube as well. Yes. Your account? Uh, your account? Oh, it's never left. Alright. DM Bertolami. Yes. I live together. I might be able to actually get that up. I'm actually got my premier throw bags on. Alright, um. Another question that people have asked, if you were to stop making videos right now and not say a damn thing, just say, fuck it, I'm done with YouTube, walk out the door, how long do you think it would be before somebody actually noticed you weren't there? Well, somebody, I mean somebody other than me, yes, somebody else who because I would have taken YouTube community to realize, hey, instantaneously, I think, because it's like, we're all connected, and as soon as I make that decision, I think people will feel it, especially people that have communicated with me, I believe, on some level, yeah. but it may not be on a, on a conscious, like, oh, I, but I think that it's, I think it immediately, okay. which is immediately, immediately. So, and the last question I got is somewhat, uh, if everybody on YouTube, if every person, hater, non-viewer, video maker, video maker, everybody could be here today, right now, of all of the YouTube people, who above all would you want to meet and talk to? And why? Now, this doesn't okay. Have to be, uh, Philip Warren, Warren Twenty Five Smash. Yes. Because he is the person that left me my first video response when I first started. We started at the exact same time, uh -huh. and we've been like just friends 
from the beginning until this moment. It's like I feel like I couldn't have done it in the beginning. Like, he gave me inspiration in the beginning. And I still haven't, we talk on MSN, but I still haven't seen him. Right. He lives in like fucking Eastern Canada or something. And, and that's, why, that's why that's why you made the response video when he had his first account. Yeah. You know, you said, "Hey, they removed it. Why they do this? That's why you did it because he got you." I took it so personally. Yeah. And I went. Yeah. I went nuts. And I, and I regret. I don't regret it, but I understand that that's not the way to get anything done. I mean, you can, but it's like the dark side. Right. And it's, it's dangerous to like to, to lie on it. Yeah. So you're looking forward to the day. Oh, looking forward to everything. This moment. I've been trying to not look forward to things actually and just enjoy yeah, this. And that's how we all oh, like at every moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. So are you gonna be here for the whole thing or are you just here for the, the treasure hunt? What's, what is your plan for the YouTube gathering? Yeah. Well, I wanna stick I wanna stay in the meet and just communicate. Okay. <laughs> I'm like he is exactly the same in person. I don't know if this is an act. It's frightening me a little. I was scared a little. It's like, oh, I've become who I am because of the experience, but it wasn't like I didn't fake it. It was all like a, a new thing. So where did the eye contact thing come from? I don't know. Like, uh, my, you know, my friend Aaron, uh, who's on YouTube as, it's me, Aaron. He made this incredible, extreme eye contact. And, but right before I started doing YouTube, I was like, it was on my mind a lot. And then one, one time I made a video on YouTube, like, seeing my own eyes, and I, and I realized, like, dude, that's what... I'm not gonna lie, I watched a couple of your videos, and uh, I started to cry, and then I had a nosebleed. And it was, it was amazing. Uh, you've got some super powers. You're just, you're just teasing. No, it didn't happen. No. People cry, dude. No, he really didn't cry. People cry at your video. People cry in front of me. In front of really? Wow. Is it is it the eye contact thing you think? I think it's because I maybe yeah. It's like it's a relaxation thing. I, I relax my body enough and then communicate about my pain, and people's bodies just have a hard time with it because it's a new experience. But like I've been through so much pain that I feel like uh, my body's more more used to it. So when in like five years ago I would have sort of broken down and crying too, but like now I like I just allow it to exist. And it, it, we all can do it. Like we, it's just, a, it's just like training a muscle. I guess so. I I don't know. It's just a little weird seeing how real you are. <laughs> it's it's a it's a. I don't know. It's it's. I always like. I was like, is he? How is he doing this? Is he really like this? Oh, I think he is. I mean, I'd like to pick it up with you on stick up sometime. I've got a lot to say. Okay, definitely, dude. That's just technology we can. It's I've been on like, Stick'em, but I can't get like, banned from rooms because you come in and you're always doing this thing. And then all of a sudden it's like, whoop, banned. And I'm like, oh, Wait, dang it. What happens? You just come in and you're like, you don't, it's like, can, can anyone hear me? <laughs> Hello? Ban. Insta ban. Oh, and I'm like, dang it. I'm here to make friends. And it doesn't work. I won't, I won't, I won't like, ban you. Know, you know, kick down every room. 